So when the Huawei P20 Pro was announced back in 2018, I vividly remember watching the announcement and not quite believing what I saw. Of course, after all the reviews dropped and I had the chance to use the P20 for all the one here, I saw that this phone was for real. It was special. Features like the 3 times zoom or the 5 times zoom were first introduced on this phone and it took over a year for other brands to catch up. Fast forward to 2019 and Huawei had everyone playing catch up again by introducing a 5x telephoto optical zoom and 10x hybrid zoom and massively improving night mode and portrait mode on the P30 series. In what, in my opinion, is one of the best smartphones ever released. There, I said it. I still have the P30 Pro and I've been using it for over a year now and I can tell you that features like the 5x optical zoom and the ridiculous night mode took literally two years for other manufacturers to develop. And even though it's two years old, I can tell you that even today it's a top 10 camera, if not a top 5 camera, when you look at both the quality and the flexibility of it. In fact, the most major release of a 5x telephoto photo camera was on the Note 20 Ultra, which came out just a few months ago. I'm taking a look at a few other phones. The S21 Ultra, which is Samsung's current flagship, has 10x optical zoom and it was just released, while Huawei's P40 Pro Plus was able to do that a year ago when it came out in 2020. So to me, it's clear. Samsung and Apple are a year or two behind when it comes to camera tech compared to Huawei. So, as you can imagine, this is what genuinely gets me excited about the P50 Pro series. The phones are probably about 3 months away now, and the first few leaks have already surfaced, which means we can finally start a conversation about what is shaping up to be another camera monster by Huawei. In terms of design, there isn't anything that exciting. It will look like any other phone, with curved edges on all sides, very similar to the P40 Pro. The good news is that the large spill-shaped cutout in the front of the screen is gone to make way for a much tinier punch hole in the middle of the screen. Only if the design doesn't seem all that exciting, way to hear what Huawei is up to when it comes to camera and possibly charging. The absolute highest end version, the P50 Pro Plus, is set to support 200 times zoom, and this isn't heard of. Now, bear in mind, the 200x photos will most likely be as usable as any other 100x zoom photos from other flagships, that is to say, basically unusable, but what is very usable is 20 times optical zoom. On a smartphone, which also means 40 times hybrid zoom, which is a combination between optical and digital zoom, giving you a nearly lossless quality. Now, this sounds like innovation to me. Another rumor says that we will see 135 watts charging, which will top off the phone in just a few minutes, but this is still under testing and it's not certain that it will make it to the final units. Nevertheless, Huawei's phones have always charged very fast. And in a world where Samsung launches their top of the line flagship with 25 watt charging, for which the charger isn't even in the box, the bar is set pretty low. So, these were the two main features I wanted to talk about. Apart from that, it is rumored that Huawei will finally bring Harmony OS. This might or might not happen on the P50 series, but nevertheless, we haven't seen a new smartphone OS on a major phone basically since the first iPhone and the first Android phones came out back in 2007 and 2008. And yes, we saw a bunch of Windows phones that started coming out in 2010, but we all know how this ended up, with the brand being discontinued five years later. When the Harmony OS happens now or later, the good thing about it is that it's based on Android, allowing Huawei to take control over the user experience and be less dependent on Google. The B50 series will of course be coming with Huawei's carrying 9000 chip. And this is great news since recent reviews of the Snapdragon 888 processor show that it actually performs worse than the Kirin chip. If you've been following the mobile tech news from last year, you'll know that there are claims that Huawei doesn't have large supply of the Kirin 9000 due to the US trade ban, and they were in a rush to produce as much of these chips as possible. Now, if you ask me, it won't be shocking if we see some of the P50 series, like the entry P50 model, launched with a slightly different chip, whether this will be a MediaTek high end chip or Huawei's own 9000E chip, which is in the main 40 vanilla version. We'll just have to wait and see. So, this is all for the 
video, please leave a comment down below to let me know if you're as excited as I am for the P50 series. Share the video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel as I have a lot more videos coming up soon. If you want to check out my last few videos, I've done a thorough comparison between the Galaxy S20 and the S21 series. I have a very detailed review of Huawei's Freebuds Pro, which will certainly help you make a purchase decision. And there's a shorter video where I show you how to use night mode on the front-facing camera of any iPhone, even the oldest ones. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Twan, twan, twan.